Hi everybody, so for today's vlog I am going to do a one take for Wednesday and I am going to make this a grocery haul. Um, I've seen people going and doing this on YouTube and I thought that this would just be a great opportunity for me to go ahead and do it too just because I have decided to start doing um, crock pot meals and freezing them and so I thought that this would be a nice little crock pot meal slash grocery haul. Alright, so I'm going to start over here. Um, we, um, Justin is out west and so it's just really me cooking for me and Liam. So I just only bought one gallon of milk. Um, it's just 2%. It's great value. Um, I typically go to the grocery store at least like once every week if not every other. We don't really use that much milk unless he's home. Otherwise, like if it's just me, I only go through one gallon. Um, then I got the bagels. I got the French toast bagels, and then I got the cinnamon raisin. Um, I will use those for work, and those will last me for the next two weeks. Then I got yogurt. Um, I got a pack of eight. It's got four strawberry and four um, strawberry banana. And I will use those for my breakfast also. Then I got tissues just because we needed them. Um, I got bananas for my breakfast also or to take to work as a snack. And then I got this um, Mountain Trail Mix. This Mountain Trail Mix I want to say is like $4 if that. But it is so delicious and it's such a nice healthy snack. And even Liam likes to eat the raisins. So, I mean, it's a win-win situation for me to just go to work. Otherwise, I end up going and I end up grabbing, like, a handful of M&Ms out of the M&M machine. So, it's just smarter to bring trail mix. And then, right here, I got cans of fruit. Um, I have pineapple, pear, um, a fruit cocktail, and then peaches. Um, they're, <laughs> like, all of this stuff pretty much is great value except for just, like, a few things. But, I mean... Like, I want to say they were like 98 cents or like 97 cents or something like that. So they're really cheap. Um, I can't even taste the difference between like that and like store brand. Um, I'm going to save all of like these toy things for last just because I'm going to explain them to you. Um, then that is pretty much all the stuff that I got for breakfast yeah, except yeah. for the chill mix and like the fruit I got for lunch. And then I... I plan on taking like my leftovers for lunch, but the stuff that I don't take over as leftovers, um, I am going to make sandwiches. So I got some great value wavy potato chips, and then I got some Miracle Whip. It's just like the squirtable kind, and then I got um, premium smoked ham and then mild cheddar cheese, and then I got these. They're like. Sandwich buns, I want to say, or sandwich rolls. I think yeah, sandwich rolls is what it says. But, um, yeah, it was two bucks. I mean, I got it over by the bakery. Super cheap. Um, then I got the Sara Lee bread. I, I typically try to get wheat just because it's healthier than white. Um, Justin and Liam, like, they prefer white, but, I mean... It's healthier, you know? Okay, and then we're going to move on to... Let's go on to Liam's baby food. Okay, so Liam gets baby food because I have Wick. And so I typically, like, don't end up buying a lot of, like, the normal um, four-ounce things of baby food just because he gets so much of it with Wick and like we can barely keep up with it throughout the month and so I get these bigger ones for him for supper time like I got him like spaghetti and just like random dinners like mixed vegetable with chicken dinner um mixed vegetables with turkey dinner I think there's like six different um varieties in there but I got two weeks worth so I got 14 of them and then I got these little yogurt melts he's never had them before but I think that he will really like them and I just got the banana um vanilla flavored just because I think that they would be good and then I got these puffs for him we are running low on puffs and he does eat these things like crazy and he's never tried the blueberry puffs before so I got him the blueberry and then um you know, I figured that probably all of this chicken 
like that I got for the crockpot meals that I probably won't use all of it for the crockpot meals. So I got this shake and bake so that we can use our little, I don't even know what it is. It's like this little grill that we got from Walmart. Um, yeah, so that I can make chicken like that on the grill. Okay, so now I'm going to move on to my crockpot foods. Um, the things that I got for this should last me two weeks of crock pot. Like, two weeks of crock pot meals for just me. I mean, if I was to have it with Justin, I mean, it would probably only be a week just because, like, he eats more than me. Um, but this will last me, like, two weeks. I mean, I could even bring most of this to lunch, too. And, you know, still have it last for two weeks. But... All right, so I'm going to start off with the two bags of potatoes, that one and that one. Um, I'm not sure how big they are, but um, Liam and Justin and I actually go through quite a bit of potatoes. So I grabbed two bags just because I know that I'm at least going to use like a full bag, if not like a bag and a half, of potatoes for the crockpot meals. And then the other half of the bag or whatever I have left of the second bag, I will be using for like breakfast or for... Just random baked potatoes that will that I'll make, like whether I use like the shake and bake to make chicken or you know just whatever else. Then I got these. This I put in a in a wrapping just because I didn't want it to like bleed everywhere. But um, this is um, Chuck tender steak. You see, and I mean it looks really really good. So I'm going to put those in one of the crock pot meals and then I got two bags of Tyson all natural boneless skinless um, chicken breast portions they are a pound and a half I think yeah a pound and a half so that'll be plenty enough to do chicken um, in the crock pot meals then I got some broccoli. I eat a lot of broccoli. I mean, I am one that definitely loves her green vegetables, which is kind of funny because I never was like that before I was pregnant with Liam, but I just absolutely love them. Then I got these steam fresh. Um, it's got like corn, asparagus, and carrots in there. And I'm just going to put them in the crock pot meals also. I mean, you can throw them in the microwave and have them be done, but I'm just going to put them in the crock pot meals because I think they'll just be really good. Then I got whole corn. We do eat a lot of corn, I feel. Oh, Liam's taking one of my boxes. Hi, Liam. Yeah, but we do eat a lot of corn, so I got three things of canned corn. They're all just great value. I mean, most of the stuff, like I said, is great value. Oh, he crashed. You okay down there? Yeah, he's fine. Um, all right, so then I got four of these slow cooker um, boxes that come with four liners. These things are the best. I mean, if you guys do crock pot meals and you guys have never used them, use them. I am serious. We, like any time that I use the crock pot, I just plop one in there and it is good to go. It keeps your crock pot so clean. Like, and when you do have to clean your crock pot, you don't have to completely scrub it down and thoroughly clean it just because, like, if the bag does leak, it's hardly anything that's in there. So, I mean, it's just super convenient, super nice to have and to use. Um, all right, then I got these two things of seasoning. I got this for the chicken. Um, it's homestyle Italian. I mean, I will probably just like keep that out and just sprinkle some on top um, of the stuff in the crock pot. And I also have some more Hidden Valley um, ranch ones. They're just like original ranch that I do plan on using. I think I have like three or four packets left, but I'll probably just use like half of the container for like one crock pot meal at a time. And then I get this. I've actually never tried this before, but I think that it'll be really good on the steaks. And it's just home style maple um, McCormick seasoning. And then we're going to go back here to the freezer baggies. The freezer baggies is what I'm going to be putting everything in. Let's turn it around that way so you guys can see. But yeah, it's just double zipper, great value freezer baggies. Pack of 60. I mean, all of this stuff was super cheap. I mean, I got it all for cheaper because it was all great value, which was really nice. 
And I mean, you can't even like taste the difference, like I said before. Okay, so all of this stuff right here is for Liam's birthday party. These I seen not too long ago at Walmart, and I just thought they were so freaking adorable. They're literally like only a dollar or so, and I plan on putting um, one of these in each of the little eight gift bags that I have for him. And then these little etch sketches Each time I go to Walmart, like I grab one or two of them, but I think I only have two more to grab after this. Um, so I just grabbed this one, and then I grabbed that one because those are also going in the gift bags for Liam's birthday party as well. But yes, this is my grocery slash crock pot haul. Liam's under the table. Liam, hi. Hi, baby. What are you doing under there? Dad, dad? Yeah, is that what you think? All right, yeah, but this is all of the things that I got for our two weeks. I mean, this stuff should really last for two weeks worth of meals, whether it be lunch or supper or breakfast. But, yeah, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Um, give it a thumbs up. And if you guys haven't gone and done a grocery haul yet, definitely do it and then post it in the comments below so that I can go and watch it also. Thanks, guys. Bye. And like I said, I bought everything from Walmart. In total, I spent 128 well, almost $128. So, I mean, that is really good. And I bought 63 items. My super, my super, super long receipt. But yeah, I got 63 items for $127, which should last me two weeks. I mean, you can't beat a price like that.